Did you know that your child should be wearing sunscreen from six months of age onwards? For all the whys and the hows, along with non-sponsored sunscreen recommendations for kids in India, stay tuned to this video. Hi everyone, my name is Jharna and welcome back to my channel, Journalist. I am a Bangalore-based mom to twin boys. And till a while back, even I didn't know that babies as young as six months old need to be applying sunscreen on an everyday basis to protect their skin from damage by the sun. So when I was a child back in the 1980s and 90s, we would only apply sunscreen on days that we were going swimming or we were going to the beach. And we thought that that was basically the way it was meant to be. Why till recently even I was not applying sunscreen on myself regularly or on my children. I would only do it on days that we were going to the swimming pool or we were on a beach holiday or we were spending a large part of our day outdoors directly under the bright sunlight. But I could not be more wrong. So over the past one year, I've been doing a ton of research on sunscreens. And along with that, I've also tried out a lot of different sunscreens. And I've learned so much in the process, which I'll be sharing with you in this video. And it has truly been eye-opening. First off, let's start with when should we be applying sunscreen? So both we as adults and our children need to be wearing sunscreen on an everyday basis, even on days that we're only indoors, even during the winter, and even when traveling to places like the mountains. The mountains are in fact higher in altitude and therefore closer to the sun. So we could actually be wearing a stronger sunscreen. So let me know in the comments below whether you were aware of this fact that we should be wearing sunscreen on an everyday basis, even on days that we are only spending time indoors. One important thing to remember. So most of us Indians have this unhealthy obsession with skin color. Our only motivation to wear sunscreen is in fact to save ourselves from tanning. But that is not the only thing sunscreen is important for. In fact, our skin is bound to tan because we're spending so much time outdoors. Likewise, our childrens They play outside with friends, they have outdoor sports, etc. But that's not their actual skin color. The tan will decrease with time once outdoor exposure decreases. The real reason that we should be applying sunscreen to our children on a regular basis is to protect them from the sun's rays. The UVB rays which cause burning and the UVA rays which cause premature aging. Now coming to how to pick a sunscreen for your child. But before that, remember to stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be sharing with you what else you need besides an effective sunscreen to protect your child from the sun's potent rays. Now the first step in selecting a sunscreen for your child is to always pick a mineral sunscreen or in other words, a physical sunscreen. Now, the way a mineral or physical sunscreen differs from a chemical or synthetic sunscreen is that unlike a chemical sunscreen that enters the bloodstream when you apply it, a mineral or a physical sunscreen deflects the sun's rays by forming an outer protective layer on your skin. Mineral or physical sunscreens act as a barrier to the sun's rays. They reflect the rays immediately. It doesn't need to be applied 20 minutes in advance to get absorbed, like a chemical sunscreen would need to be applied. Now, how do you figure out that a sunscreen is a mineral sunscreen? Well, zinc oxide or titanium dioxide has to be listed as one of the first ingredients. Having it listed as one of the top ingredients means that it is present in a large percentage. There are some sunscreens in the market that are hybrid. They use both mineral and chemical sun filters, but they only highlight the mineral ones in their branding. And that is why it's really important to carefully look at the ingredients list. Now, mineral sunscreens are generally more hard to rub in because they are designed to create a physical barrier. And that's why they typically leave a white cast. Now, over here, I'm sharing with you a list of the most commonly used chemicals in chemical-based sunscreens. The reason I'm sharing this list with you is so that you can always make reference to it when purchasing a sunscreen for your child and make sure that none of these are present in the ingredients list to ascertain whether the sunscreen that you're opting for is a mineral-based sunscreen. Now the reason to opt for a mineral-based sunscreen over a chemical-based one is simply because we don't know how these chemicals may impact our children. 
because they are chemical based sunscreen they have chemical filters they will enter the bloodstream and these chemicals may cause an allergic reaction or flare up with children who have eczema or any other skin sensitivities and our children have not yet gone through puberty they have not yet had children themselves will it impact the onset of puberty will it impact their fertility levels we do not know all those things and since we have the option for using a mineral based sunscreen which does not enter the blood stream then it's always better to err on the side of caution now the next factor to always consider when picking a sunscreen for children is to always opt for a sunscreen with a minimum spf of 50 now spf stands for sun protection factor and it basically indicates how well that sunscreen protects your skin from burning it is basically a ratio between the amount of uv that a skin can be exposed to before sunburn with and without the sunscreen so spf 50 for kids is expected to give good coverage to last for a few hours now the next factor to consider when selecting a sunscreen for children is that it needs to be listed as broad spectrum or with a minimum pa index of 3 pluses Now a sunscreen that has an SPF of 50 is good to protect our child's skin from sunburn which is caused by the UVB rays but to protect our child from UVA rays which cause premature aging your children need a sunscreen labeled as broad spectrum or with a PA index of minimum 3 plus signs ideally would be one with 4 pluses but that is very rare to find in a mineral sunscreen because of how they have to be formulated So go ahead and opt for one with three pluses. The next factor to consider when selecting a sunscreen is that it should ideally be water resistant and sweat resistant. Try to opt for a water resistant sunscreen for your child, especially if they will be at the pool or at the beach. Water reflects and intensifies the sun's rays, so this is really an important factor. And also opt for a sweat resistant sunscreen so that it isn't wiped off when your child is outdoors. The next important factor to look at when selecting a child's sunscreen is that it should ideally be fragrance free and without denatured alcohol. Sunscreens with any kind of fragrance or denatured alcohol can cause dermatitis, allergies, reactions and dry up your child's skin. So it's best to steer clear of any kind of fragrances or denatured alcohol. Now the next important thing to keep in mind when zeroing in on a sunscreen for your child is simply that the kids tag or the baby tag listed on a bottle of sunscreen simply does not cut it that is not enough these words are just used for branding and marketing purposes some of them don't comply with the above list of things that i've asked you to look out for while others do so always go based on ingredients rather than branding elements now let me give you an example So Cetaphil is a brand that almost all of us know about and hold in high regard when it comes to topical skin products. But if you look at the sunscreen that they have branded especially targeting kids, which is the Cetaphil Sun Kids Lip Somal Lotion SPF 50, this is not a mineral sunscreen. If you look at the ingredient list, you'll find that after water, the top listed ingredients are all chemicals. So the ingredients show that this is very clearly a chemical sunscreen. There's nothing wrong with the sunscreen if you want to opt for a chemical sunscreen. But chemical sunscreens like I mentioned earlier are not advisable for kids and pregnant or lactating mothers. And there are several others like this as well that are branded using the words kids or baby, but they don't match our requirements. So once again, don't just go by the brand name or the marketing tags attached to the product. Look at the ingredient list. Even the same brand will have two different sunscreens. one mineral and one chemical or hybrid like neutrogena for example they have a chemical sunscreen which is what they've actually branded as for kids and then they have another mineral sunscreen so yeah it gets confusing and then there is the case of misleading branding like the la shield pollution protect mineral sunscreen gel spf 50 this over here is a hybrid sunscreen but it has been projected as a mineral sunscreen i find this unethical There are also several big names that don't even publish a list of all their ingredients. 
So there definitely needs to be some regulations in place to standardize all this. Let's move on to how to apply sunscreen to your child. You can follow the two finger rule in terms of quantity, which basically means squeeze out sunscreen onto your middle finger and pointer fingers, and then use this to apply to all exposed areas of your child's face and neck. Do also apply sunscreen to other parts of the body that are not covered with clothes, like arms and legs. Alternatively, you can also use the dot method. But one important thing to remember is to not rub the sunscreen into your palms and then apply. This will waste a lot of product and there won't be enough to give your child good coverage. Try to reapply sunscreen every 2-3 to three hours when your child is outdoors. Now coming to some specific sunscreen recommendations. But before that, if you are finding this video helpful, then I need you to help me out a little bit as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of more such useful videos from me. I am getting quite close to the 10,000 subscriber mark and I need all your support to continue growing on this platform. Now coming back to the recommendations. Now based on the criteria that I've already shared with you, I went through literally hundreds of sunscreens available in India and I will be suggesting those to you that tick mark all boxes and you can opt for those that meet your requirement and your budget. Once again, I'd like to reiterate that none of these recommendations are sponsored. I'm simply recommending or rather suggesting them to you because of their listed ingredients. So first off, we have Neutrogena's Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen Cream SPF 50. We've been using this extensively. It only has zinc oxide in it as a barrier with no chemical filters. It does leave a white cast, but as long as my kids are protected, I'm okay with that. Neutrogena also has another pure and free baby sunscreen, which is another mineral sunscreen. Then there's Ultra Sun Pediatrics Mineral Sunscreen Lotion Daily Use for Baby and Kids. This is a Swiss brand, quite pricey, but the formulation looks great. SPF 50, zinc oxide, and four pluses on the PA index. It also protects from blue light, or at least it claims to. Then there is CeraVe's Baby Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50, quite expensive but good. CeraVe also has a sunscreen stick which is a mineral stick with SPF 50. Then there is the Aveeno Baby Continuous Protection SPF 50, again expensive but very good. Amongst Indian brands, there were not too many choices that ticked all factors but from what the ingredients claim, the Momsco Mineral Sunscreen is one option. It has SPF 50, though it is only two pluses on the PA index and it does leave a significant white cast. Then La Shield has a mineral sunscreen with SPF 50. This is a gel based one, so it isn't too thick. Requil has a sheer zinc mineral sunscreen, but this is tinted, so I wouldn't opt for this for kids because the tint may spread uh, while they're wearing it or onto their clothes and hands. Now sunscreen is only one part of effective sun protection for your child. In addition to sunscreen, there are some other things that you need to opt for to protect your child, especially when they are under direct sunlight during the day. You should opt for UPF 50 swimsuits. Brands like Speedo, Decathlon, Marks & Spencer are brands available in India that stock swimwear for kids that is UPF 50. These are great to block harmful UV rays of the sun. The next thing that you can offer are wide brimmed hats or caps. Then of course comes UV protected sunglasses. Again Decathlon have some good ones for children. And of course you should avoid midday sun especially between 11 am and 3 pm. Try to schedule your child's outdoor activities in the early am or in the evening. And if they have to step out between 11 am to 3 pm make sure that they're obviously wearing sunscreen and they are covered up well. Now since I've done all the hard work for you, don't hesitate to hit the thumbs up button on this video and I will be back soon with another useful video to make your family's life easier, healthier and happier. Until then, watch all my January recommendations for kids.